The Z Flip 5's external display is by far one of my favorite features, and the ability of being able to do whatever I want on that display has always been a challenge. There are some built-in tools, there are some tools that you can download directly from Samsung, but I really prefer the way the implementation of CoverScreen OS works because it actually works on multiple devices and it carries the same custom launcher for our external display on the Z Flip 5. This is TK, let's go ahead and check out the latest update that now fully supports the Z Flip 5 from CoverScreen OS. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. To start off by saying is I have two Z Flip 5s sitting in front of us here, one running the cover screen OS. This is running the stock launcher on the cover screen. It's a 3.4 inch display, beautiful. So this is Samsung's implementation. We have a few widget, calendar, weather, timers, and you're able to add a few things. You're also even able to add certain applications from your local launcher or your locally installed applications directly on the lock screen. Not everything by default, there's an extra step to do, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about also the implementation there. On the top, we have access to a few toggles, be able to turn on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all of that good stuff. And on the left side, we have access to our notifications. So if there's any notifications, you're able to basically interact with them uh, to a certain point. There's some limitations in there, but this is pretty much what you get out of the box. If you don't download any other application and you turn it on, you're pretty much, this is the essential customization. You're also able to pinch and zoom and jump between the different screens if you want to. Uh, but for the most part, swiping up from the bottom takes you straight into the home screen, which is what we have in here. And you're also able to add like lock screen wallpapers, a video wallpapers and then customize the lock screen and there's a shortcut for the camera that's built there although for the most part if you just double press the power button it, it launches the camera so this one is something that you're able also to customize within the launcher that we have in there so today we're going to talk about something called cover screen os this has been around for some time so if i press here on the back it opens up my app drawer i have access to all of the apps and everything that's installed on my account uh, on my device i can swipe away it takes me back home swipe to the left access to the notifications same thing that we had before swiping down i have more customizable toggles that i'm able to interact with and you also see here that i'm actually able to add additional ones this is not just the standard toggle list but you're actually also able to add additional ones swiping up from the bottom and then of course have access to a music player where we had nothing there from the default launcher and then swiping from the right i have access to certain widgets that i have added so i have the weather widget and time i have the google search functionality built in i also have youtube and this is the widget for youtube on my device a little bit of a preview of my gallery of course i also have my united app and i can add additional ones directly from the ui i've installed the cover screen os on the right side on the device on the right and have not basically unlocked the developer pack which is something that you're able to do to support the developer but also get full functionality so for all intents and purposes this is the free version of the app and this is the paid version of the app on the left side so you can kind of see also what the difference is if you just want to try it out off of the google play store you can download it it's called cover screen os now fully supporting uh basically and i think the latest version is version 17 uh, beta and that's going to fully support the z flip 5 so it's not going to be an issue about supporting it once you install it you do need to give it these permissions it does require these permissions to run specifically that those functionalities so that it does not get uh, basically turned off when the device hasn't been used for some time. Uh, supporting the dev tutorials, guides and tips and tricks on how to be able to use them. All of those are going to be basically simple links to, to guides to be able to use them. Feedback, if you have any problems specific to your device, you can follow through and send in information directly to the developer and of course about. Under the settings tab, this is where you get kind of some of the customizations that you're able to do and you're not able to do based on the paid and non-paid. By default, the general section here, if you try to do it, it just specifically automatically starts prompting you for that function. So all of that general area at the top, we don't have that functionality. Uh, the notification dot is turned on. The edge lighting is also turned on. That's those are two that are, are available. And it is unfortunately ad supported. That's one of the other things with the free version. So as far as the app drawer, you do need to have the paid version. And unfortunately, it's something that you have to be able to check out. So if you want to be able to test that out, that's something to check out from there. Uh, when you jump over to the toggles, this is going to be your, your basically uh, swipe down toggle options that we have. Out of the box, you have access to all of these and I'm able to add basically magnifier. Nine, this 9mail is one of my installed apps. I can go into the plus sign and then select based on the applications that we have, some of the options that we're able to add. Always on HD widget, that's my weather widget, smart things if you have any routines you want to be able to initiate. Um, and of course, a device care magnifier, which I did add in modes and routines. So, some options that you're able to add on top of the standard ones that are preloaded in here so you can see them. One thing to mention, you are able to turn them off. If you do not want them, turn it off and you don't have to worry about it. You can keep the toggle in the actual list, but you can turn it off. 
the next thing is the uh, lock screen or the, uh, the lock screen face right now. By default, it is set to be just a standard one. You're able to jump in directly into your wallpapers and of course uh, add additional ones. You can add the welcome one or you can go into your gallery and of course animation. For me, I added my lock screen wallpaper video that I had before. I customized it, I added it and I activated it. So now it works and now the lock screen on the right one says just basically the word welcome. You can customize it of course and get into those from there. Last but not least are those widgets that we swipe to the right from. So from the home screen, as I showed you guys before, uh, we had the home screen bookmark, uh, Chrome bookmarks was not on because I didn't turn that on, but we saw the assistant first, then we jumped into search, quick actions directly, and of course uh, images, and then I added the United one. The beautiful thing about this is this will add any widget, any widget at all. Let's go ahead and go back in here. Any widget inside uh, that you have access to on your device, can be added directly in there. The main thing that you want to be aware of is let's go ahead and go down to something maybe that we didn't have before. So here, let's go ahead and add Netflix. I added it. You see that little notification. I'm going to go ahead and swipe back. And now at the bottom, I have Netflix. It's not turned on. I'll go ahead and turn it on and let's go ahead and go home. And I can actually now launch it by just pressing this, uh, unlocking the, uh, the phone, swiping on the right. You see all of my toggles the way we had them before. And now we have Netflix in there and I can click it. It opens up and goes straight into the actual app. And this way you're able to go back home. And of course, as I said, you have can customize the top part and of course the notifications on the left. The thing I like about notification is that the ability of actually interacting with them in multiple ways. I can click it on again and it tells me do I want to open it on the phone or I want to open it on the internals, uh, on the external screen. So in this situation, I just want to go ahead and open it up on the cover screen. It's going to give me the weather information. I can go in there, scroll. Obviously it's a much smaller screen. If I want to continue this conversation, I can just go in, open it up and I can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, but it's one of the functional things that I really like about it. It's simple, it's easy to set up. And in areas where good luck is not available, this is gonna be definitely one of the better options available for you. Directly downloadable from the Google Play Store, you install it, you give it the permissions that it needs, and it's ready to go. I personally think that the lock screen app, store, uh, app drawer is definitely one of the more functional options. We are able to basically uh, change the orientation, search, which is really, really nice, very easy to basically search, let's say for YouTube or something like that. Also, you're able to organize by A to Z, so top to bottom in case you want to do that. You can also refresh if you've added an app and it doesn't show up. Last but not least, you're also able to turn on uh, favorited apps. If you have them favorited directly within your actual launcher, you can customize that. And then at that point, it's a much shorter list, quick, easy access, and very simple. The thing about here that I like, it's very easy to customize on the main screen. One tap opens up the app drawer. One swipe to the left gets me notifications. Swipe to the right gets me my, my widgets. Uh, and of course, on the top, I have my toggles. On the bottom, I have access to the music player. If I click that, if you don't have one pre-selected, you can just jump in straight in. Let's go ahead and say here, and we're gonna say YouTube, and we're gonna go YouTube uh, right there. And I can play a content directly from here, or I can actually jump straight into my music player. Now that we've seen all of the things that we can do, let's go ahead and summarize the experience. Overall, out of the box, your device, your Z Flip 5, has a built-in launcher that does support, with the Labs tab, uh, certain applications to be installed into that. But you don't really have a way of customizing the notification panel. You don't even have the ability of adding unlimited amount of widgets on the right side. This is something that's predetermined and pretty much configured to the way it was. If you want to be able to push it a little bit further, I think Cover Screen OS provides us a little bit better experience. I do want to also touch on the fact that yes, I do. I know that Good Lock will provide us the ability of launching uh, or accessing every single app directly within our, uh, our device. The one thing to keep in mind is A, you do need to download Good Lock, and if you didn't know about it, then you probably would have never seen it. B, you need to make sure that Good Lock is available in your area and it's not currently available internationally. So depending on the region that you're in, this may actually be an option for you. The second thing we want to talk about obviously is uh, paid versus free functionality. Out of the box, the free functionality gives you enough of a taste to see if this is something that works for you and you're maybe able to start supporting the developer. And the reason behind that is you have to keep in mind, small developers have to actually purchase these devices. These are not things that they have access to in advance. So running a custom launcher on your device that runs correctly and get update, gets updates over time does require a little bit of support. If that's not something that you're comfortable with as far as supporting it, then obviously this may not be something for you. The default launcher does have some limited functionalities. I personally like that we can customize the notification panel or the toggles on the panel there. I can add additional ones. I can add almost an unlimited amount of widgets on the right side. Accessing the app drawer to launch all of my application is by a single tap to the background of the lock screen as opposed to having to swipe away and try to find uh, the good lock functionality built in there. 
Uh, as far as the notification on the left with the toggles, some of them actually allow us to open them up directly on the lock screen, which is a little bit different than what you get with the Samsung launcher, where it requires you to actually open up the phone to be able to interact with it. So the notification thing that I saw there or that I showed you guys with the weather, that was actually a perfect example. Typically, it would require me to open up the phone to see the full thing, as opposed to where here, it just opened it up right away on the lock screen because it gave me the option. Do you want the phone or the lock screen? So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of cover screen OS? I've covered them in the past with the Z Flip 4 where the display was much smaller. Now that we have a much bigger display, the playground is much better and I hope we can see even more toggles, more functionalities and more unique things added by the developer. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you in the next one.